Hi, and thank you again for tuning in to our screencasts for our film club at Merrill Middle School. During this screencast, I'll re be reviewing what goes into the background of making a film. That particular document is called a movie treatment, or just a treatment for short. Within that treatment, you detail what you plan to shoot to make your film. To get ready, ready to write our own treatments, we watch two good examples, I think, of amateur films. They're both available on Vimeo. At the end of the screencast, I'll show you where to find both of them and give you the titles in case you would like to watch them. But they're examples of amateur filmmaking that have an obvious treatment that was written so that you can tell what the filmmaker was shooting when they made the film. They're excellent. And at the end I'll, of the screencast, I'll go through and show you where both of them can be found. So what is a movie treatment? You get better and better at writing movie treatments as you do more of them. And it's something that really illustrates what you're going to create when you make a film. And it's a piece of writing. And in that piece of writing, you go through the events that'll take place within your movie that you plan to shoot. You will have each scene laid out so you have a good plan for what you plan to shoot. And as I said, the two amateur films that we watched in Film Club are excellent examples of how from writing to shooting, a good movie can transpire. You need a working title at the top of your film treatment. And then you want to lay out who's going to be in your film. Describe the actions and what's going to happen as you're shooting. And then, as I said earlier, you want to lay out each of your scenes. The best way, I think, to lay out a movie treatment before you write it in a linear kind of logical essay like a piece of prose is just getting index cards and ensuring that you know who, what, when, and where for all of your key characters and each of the scenes you plan to shoot. Index cards are a great place to lay out a movie treatment. Taking a second here to log in, unfortunately. If you haven't ever been to Vimeo, literally anything you want to find related to filmmaking and projects is available on Vimeo. The first amateur film that I think is excellent, and you can see evidence of somebody being able to write a really good film treatment is Social Recovery. It's a comedy short that a high school student made. My name is Jeremiah Long, right and I'm there. a recovering social media addict. Good thing to watch. I think it's a good commentary in youth's lives. So Social Recovery is a comedy type of drama, which is an amateur film. The next one that I think is an excellent example of a well laid out treatment translating into film is a documentary.
also made by a high school student, and was made into a PBS episode and extended too. And I'm not sure where you can find that, but the Vimeo link I'm showing right here. And again, it's just an excellent example of laying out a good treatment and being able to shoot a wonderful short documentary. I encourage you to watch that too. So that's Vimeo. We upload things to YouTube and Film Club, except for things that students will be shooting. They won't be uploaded here in specific, most likely. But Vimeo is a great source for different types of videos and also some amateur projects. All right, well, just encouraging everybody, if you're going to film something, make sure that you write out a thorough film treatment. And these slides may help you detail what goes in a treatment so that you're able to shoot something that is cohesive and will be ultimately a better project. Thanks again for tuning in to Merrill Middle School's Film Club channel.